Utah snowpack was doing really good until April. Since then, it's quickly deteriorated, and hydrologists say essentially what we have now is what we're going to get until next year. It doesn't take much to catch a fish. Longtime Army friends Anita Hurst and Phyllis Vicchioni wiggle, wiggle, warm. Enjoy the day at Jordan Reservoir. When they're hungry and biting, you know what they do? They bite. Little Shoreline left this Memorial Day. The reservoir is at 86% capacity. Okay, go fish. Catch them a big one. Jordanelle also serves as a source of culinary water for Wasatch, Utah, and Salt Lake counties. It's been a disappointing couple of months in terms of our precipitation and our snowpack. The extremely dry spring and slightly warmer weather put the brakes on what could have been another great snow year. Luckily, reservoirs are still in decent shape thanks to the prior year's outstanding snowpack. Utah Lake is at 99% capacity, Bear Lake 74%, and Lake Powell at just 48%. These numbers won't improve according to the Utah Snow Survey Supervisor Jordan Clayton. The water that that we have in our reservoirs right now and in our streams is going to be the amount of water that we have by and large uh, through next spring. We're not going to get much more water until we get next year's snowmelt runoff. Clayton urges Utahns to be cautious with how we use water this summer. And we want to be able to hold on to as much water as we can until um, the following year. Holding on so there's enough water to go around. It looks good. A really good way to conserve is how often we water our lawns. Right now, experts say for most of Utah, it only needs to be done twice a week. Reporting at Jordanelle Reservoir, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.